Well, hello guys. I am back with a new video. I'm super happy because I'm back home in Chicago and I'm not in Vegas and just life is just beautiful now. I have so many clients, but on to this video. So I've been getting asked a lot how I ombre my glitter and I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm using a custom glitter mix. I call this one Princess Party. I really like this one. If you guys want to purchase any custom glitters from me, you can just hit me up on my Instagram account. I don't typically sell. Uh, my custom glitter mixes um, I just don't like selling a lot of my products I do sell press on nails but I do sell my custom acrylics if you guys do hit me up on my Instagram my Instagram is at drippy nails so when it comes to ombre glitter it's a little bit different when it comes to glitter compared to just basic colors because you want to still make sure that you see some of the glitter and that it's not completely covered by whatever you're going to ombre it with so right now you see me just placing my chunky glitters all over the bottom tip of this tip um, you guys will notice that these tips aren't the same length. I'm just doing this for the demo video. But anywho, so you put it halfway or about three-fourths of the way on the nail. And then you take whatever color you're going to use and tap it. Well, tap it. You place it on top. So... When it comes to the ombre of the glitter, you want the glitter to also be ombre. So you don't want to have just the two separate colors because you'll be able to clearly see that there's another color on top of the um, glitter. Excuse me. And that it's separated. So what I mean by that is like you don't want it to look like it has like, oh, she put a bead right here and then she put a bead at the cuticle and just swiped it down. Like, no, you want that thing to really, really blend, guys. So this is what I mean. Look at that right there. Look at the middle nail. You can clearly see what I'm talking about with the ombre. So I'm going to go in with more chunky glitters and I'm going to place them on top of the ombre that I just did. Usually I use um, smaller um, pieces of the glitter. You see I'm putting some right there on there. You don't want to put any chunky glitters and now look at that. That is so pretty. So on the other finger, you can clearly see that I did more of a ombre with the flush color. And on this other one, I did more of a ombre from the tip from the bottom up. So next, you're just gonna simply encapsulate it um, with clear acrylic just to seal everything so when you file you're not filing off your glitter so this is really really simple guys I really like doing ombres now when I first learned ombres oh my goodness it was so freaking hard but it wasn't um, it wasn't that hard to learn once I had one of my experienced techs. She's been doing nails for four years. She came over to my desk and showed me super quick how to do it. I'm like, wow, this is so easy. So I'm showing you guys just exactly how my uh, my coworker showed me how to do it. She's really experienced. Hey, Tanea, hopefully you're watching this video. If not, then whatever. But anywho, guys, this is... um. These tips that I'm using are uh, the sculpted tips. They're the straight edge tips. They're not the ones that curve. I think I told you guys in another video, I think it's my haul video, that when it comes to these tips that I use, they look just like sculpts. I typically like to sculpt, guys. I don't like tips. I feel like tips break more than sculpts do. Um, so... Um, when I'm using these sculpted tips, I feel like they are more secure than the classic traditional tips. And you also get that sculpted look, that straight look. I really feel like straight nails, you can really see all the artwork. When it comes to curved nails, there's certain angles and everything. I just don't, I don't, I hate, I hate curved nails. I hate those nails. I hate that trend so much. I like the straight nails. So I stick with straight nails. So here you see me keep patting and patting and patting. Um, the type of acrylic that I'm using, guys, I just want to let you know, it is the Core Clear by Young Nails, and the cure time is 60 seconds. So I started with the regular um, uh, acrylic um, by Young Nails. They're, they have different speed times on curing, so once you get more experienced, you would get um, an acrylic that has a higher, I mean, um, 
a faster um, curing time so this one that I'm personally using is 60 seconds and when I first started doing nails it was perfect for me but now I'm getting to the point where I'm moving so fast now like I'm having to I'm placing bead placing bead and then like my other beads aren't even drying enough so you see me here patting my other nails and stuff because I'm like geez like these shapes like I'm moving too fast now so once I run out of my uh, my um, Young Nails Core Clear Acrylic that cures at 60 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and get their 30 second um, cure time um, acrylic because I cannot be dealing with this. Like it is taking so long for my acrylic to dry. So um, I'm going to just go in with another, um, another Young Nails product that speeds up the curing time for more experienced nail techs so that is what the nails will look like once you encapsulate them so you see the one where there's more of a natural ombre and then the other one is the glitter ombre coming from the tip up and the other one is from the cuticles down so now I am going to file these bad boys buff them and then I'm gonna polish them and show you guys the final results So guys, on my practice hand, I usually use Jellish Top Coat, but when it comes to clients, I use this brand called Koopa. It is amazing. You want some glossy, glossy nails? Check out Koopa Top Coat. They are bomb. But when it comes to applying my top coat, I like to pick up a lot of uh, gel, start from the cuticles down, just so I can make sure that I get full coverage over these nails, and I also cap it so that they stay shiny and you don't have peeling. Then I go back in again and just get the access the excess off of the nails so that it isn't thick so here is the final results of the glitter ombre so on the middle finger we have the ombre starting from the tip up and then on the pointer finger we have the ombre starting from the cuticle down this ombre was super super pretty and very easy to do thank you for watching this video guys if you have any comments questions or concerns definitely leave them in the comments section I'm always answering you guys and making sure I know what you guys want to see next so see you guys next time in my next video